All right, Scorpios. So we are just going to do a little energy check-in for you guys. Scorpio. Wow, the first card is the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Some of you, it's like struggling between, uh, you know, somebody may not realize that they're bipolar. Others of you, you're getting tired of projecting that you're one thing or that you're one way to the world when really you're another. You're tired of your fear holding you back. The lovers, you may be scared to take a risk on love. Scared for the, look at the empress, scared to, to get everything that you want, scared to have everything that you want. You are somebody's wish fulfillment here. You definitely have somebody up in their head about you, about this connection, about what your true feelings are. You think somebody's being secretive, but they are actually just mirroring you. And you are unaware of that yet. There's two people here that are thinking so much about each other, yet not saying a damn thing about what they're thinking to each other. Maybe it's even two people that are telling everybody except each other how they feel. The Three of Swords here, it could be due to past heartbreak, right? The Four of Wands due to a heartbreak from a past connection with the magician where somebody was very manipulative. But you can't let that person hold you back from, from getting, you know, a true experience that is going to be unlike anything else. Just because one bad thing happened doesn't mean, you know, you have to not ever do that thing again. Just because one bad time. For others of you, yes, maybe it was more than one bad time. that manipulator is in the past and you are the magician now you look like the empress to the world but you are the magician people may doubt how smart you are how intelligent you are you may use that to your advantage for those of you guys who are interested in a giveaway for a free 15 minute reading the information will be in the description box below Everything you need for personal readings is also in the description box below. If you're not feeling your best, um, you need to figure out something that is going to start to make you feel your best. Some of you, this is change. Some of you, this is a makeover, right? With this Libra energy, this may not be making yourself over, but this may also this may be making over your home area, your living area maybe start in the room that you spend the most time in especially if things are very like very bland right a lot of neutral colors a big pop of you know pink a big pop of some sort of color is what you need in your life maybe you're going to get colorful flowers whatever the case is if you don't have any plants or any living things in your home it is time for you to get some if you have the space this may be a, um the best Summer for you to grow things. The Empress usually is very fertile and has a lot of growing things around her. That's what you need. You need things that you can nurture and that you can water. Plants, flowers. Surround yourself in abundance.
there's little things that you can do right now that you would be able that you would be doing if you had um if you had that lifestyle so start doing them now anybody that ever thought you were an option has regretted that and they can't even enter your energetic field now the universe won't even let them some of you wonder why somebody never tried to communicate with you and it is because it was just not because you see the best version of this person and that's not who they truly are. Yes, of course they're capable of becoming that, but you can't force somebody to be to want to be more than what they are. They have to want it for themselves. You can't fix everybody. Okay, Scorpio. I just did a reading for you guys yesterday, so it's like very interesting that I was gonna stop and work on my um, personal readings, and I just heard Spirit say Scorpio, and I was like, you want me to do another Scorpio reading? And then I looked over, and I have all my decks there, so I looked over and I just knew what deck, and I wanted to use this one today and I forgot, so it was just perfect. Tell me what else Scorpio needs to hear. Ah, okay, they want me to take a break. I'm gonna pull one of these. I just, I see the tower at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you here, you're dealing with an Aries here. You're gonna be going through a breakup. Some of you, you were dealing with somebody who had you in a third party situation and you um, you know, they're, they're leaving that person. They actually are. And you need to ask yourself just because they, you know, left that person, um, does that mean that I need to be with them right away? Maybe they need some time, right? Or even though they just left that person, they were still, you know, intending to be with you while they are with that person. So can you trust that person? Something that you always wanted is gonna become available. It may not even be a person, but it's now gonna become available and you have to ask yourself, do you still want it as bad as you once did? Unbound, gorgeous, gorgeous Scorpio. Um, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives, yeah. That one toxic person that comes into your life, you know, occasionally and you let them in every single time because you think it'll do no harm. It's just one night, it's just one date, it's just one call, no, it's, it's doing more harm than you think. Unbound, untied, Scorpio. This is where you're learning for some of you to um, control your emotions, right? The weakest people are ones that can't control their emotions or ones where, that allow their emotions to control them. And it is very hard, especially as a water sign, to get there. But some of you, you are there or you're about to be there. Or that is what you're needing to work on right now here. Some of the chains that are holding you down, you don't even see them. Okay. Messages for Scorpio, please. Messages for Scorpio, please. Leap, you go first, the universe will catch you. You go first, the universe will catch you. Yes, beautiful energy. You gotta take, the universe is working with you, but you gotta take that, take that leap of faith. Unbound is reminding me of the world. Leap would be the fool, right? You cannot enter a, a brand new world without completely cutting off the old one first. All or nothing approach needs to come into place. 
Some of you, it's about leaping into a love connection. You can't expect to enjoy love to the fullest without, you know, allowing yourself to experience vulnerability. It's almost like for some of you, you may even be expecting the easy way. I'm not sure what that relates to, but in some way, shape, or form, you're expecting the easy way. That's not going to happen. All right, ladies, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Some of you are meant to channel. Some of you, wow. Wow, Scorpio. Oh my God, I just got a flash. Some of you have no idea how many people you impact. Okay, guys, I just wanted to take a moment of your time to let you guys know that there's something really exciting coming, something that I've been working on for about a year now in the making. Um, there's going to be a new website and a new brand that I'm going to be launching in April. This is going to be a bunch of different spiritual products that I have worked really, really hard on with my team. Ones that I think you guys are all going to be very interested in. I think there's going to be a little something for everybody. Um, so if you want to be one of the first people to know to have access to this, follow me on my personal Instagram, Raise Runway, as that is where I'm going to be announcing uh, when we are going to launch and how everything is going to work and slowly showing you guys the products that I've been working on. So I am just so excited, you guys. If you guys could just go over there and support me, that would mean the entire world to me. And even just listening to this right now means the entire world to me. So we're just going to get back into your reading. But I am really excited to share with you guys all the things that I've been working on. You make people want to, you see the best in people. And it's almost like through when they look at you too, they can almost see the best version of themselves as well. Because of the way that you like have this um, strong belief in everyone around you, right? You believe that they can do the impossible. You have this way of uplifting people that surround you. You have no idea. Some of you guys, I don't know what this is. It's whatever your, whatever way you express yourself, right? You are going to be in front of so many people. So many people are working behind the scenes and routing for you as well. But it's like you're going to be in front of people and it's not just that they're, you know, they're, they're all going to gain something. They're all going to gain something from you. Something that they're going to cherish, Scorpio. You are here for a purpose far greater than anything you've ever imagined. This is, um, wow, Scorpio. Yep, the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Scorpio, yes. Oh my god. I just flipped it over. I was going to grab this one again. I'm still going to, but look what's at the bottom. Don't dim to fit in. Gosh, but look at this. Soul family, guess what? Don't dim to fit in, soul family. Guess what? You're dimming to fit in. You're dimming to be around, like the people that are around you. But guess what? Those are not the people that are going to be your soul family, your soul's tribe. That is why you were settling. That's why you're not finding your soul's tribe. That's not why you're not finding the right people. It's because you're settling for what's right in front of you. Maybe because you're lonely for that exact moment. My guides are like shaking you as they're, as, as they're giving me this message. It's like, wake up. It's right in front of you. Look at this. Her eyes are closed. Wake up. It's right in front of you. If you just open your eyes. For some of you, it's all within you. initiation you're being initiated to a higher realm you guys oh you're very special you're very special some of you you're gonna be part of like secret societies 
It's like if there was actually like 3,000 people actually living on Mars this whole time and we just didn't know. Like, that's where you're headed. You're like going to be one of those people that looks on. I don't know where I got that, but you are, wow. But again, the initiation is gonna cause for you to release something that you feel you strongly need, but you really don't, right? Break the chain. Ancestral, um, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Break that chain that's holding you back. Bold. Do something every day that makes you feel bold. Right? I feel like a new person when I wear lipstick and I don't wear it enough. But that's one thing for me. Heels. Love to wear heels. I feel so sexy and confident and strong. Right? Those are just physical things. But there's, of course, mal uh, sorry, multiple different things in all different aspects of our life that things that make us feel at our highest. When I do my tarot reading, nothing truly makes me happier than when I'm reading, you know? Um, so many little things that I even just do for myself on a day-to-day -day basis. And you guys need to, to really do that, especially like starting the day with something very nice. This could even be something as simple as just completely redecorating your room into something that, you know, you wake up and you're like, wow, it's so pretty. Wow, it's so beautiful. You know what I mean? Instead of like looking around your room and just being like, huh, whatever, you know? Okay, I do feel like I need to, yeah, so you're going to have to be, you're not going to get everything you want until you accept the best, like the universe you know how there's some people that will never let you be? They see your worth. Just like this is you. This is what you do to other people. You see their worth, so you don't allow them to be anything less than what they truly are, what they're truly capable of being. That is what the universe is also um, it's coming. It's like a double-edged sword is what I'm hearing because that's how you benefit others, but that's how the universe is going to benefit you because you're trying to slack in some sense when you're meant for something great, but every better um, part of life is going to require a better part of you. this one and this one so breath of the okay i guess in this one breath of the cosmos my will to thy will micromanaging the universe wow share your song frequency of sound diving deep beautiful look at how gorgeous this is um being in the water is definitely going to help you guys um being in water constantly around this time and light blue and light purple are going to be like the colors that you need to surround yourself with if you wear those colors as well that gives you this very calm um and balanced energy those are going to be your good luck yeah, that's going to be your good luck energy your crystal i never really got crystals that's interesting but today i am your crystal is, um, this would be like a desert rose, um, selenite. I'm also hearing the aquamarine gem. I think that is for the month of March. I'm not too sure, but, um, You need to share your your voice, right? The initiation. You're here to help people with things that maybe things that are so right. Scorpio likes to go where no one else goes. They like to go to the unknown because of the Pluto aspect of us. So that means you're gonna have to be vulnerable and share things about you that you wouldn't want to share with people. But by doing that, that's how you're actually going to connect with people in a way that not everybody can do because this is something that people don't even like to tell their friends, let alone put out for the whole entire world the same way that you're about to do. So the thing that you want to hold in the most is the thing that you actually need to share. It's the, that, um, it's almost like in a, in a way that it goes hand in hand with your purpose. So then we have earthed, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. 
It's like you just sit there. And you just, you, you look at things. You look at things, you take things in. But you know that what you see around you, you're meant for something other than that. Which for some of you also just means that you haven't really aligned yourself, you know, to live the life that you truly want. That would mean that there's a lot of things that need to be released, right? In order to get where you want. All right, any other messages for Scorpio? star brothers as well as so we have protection loyalty safety trust and then earth school life lesson soul growth study and higher learning wow yeah some of you guys are definitely going to be learning more about your birth chart more about your zodiac sign more about all of your placements particularly your moon is really going to help you i'm also hearing that your mars placement is going to help you by doing some research about that um you are definitely being divinely guided divinely protected here there's somebody that's also watching you somebody that's studying you um they could be wanting to propose not in a love connection but in like there's some sort of business offer it's like they're watching you and they have an idea they have an idea of something that you could do or something that you could be a part of they want you to be a part of something So for those of you that are building something and you feel like nobody's watching, people are watching. You have to act every day as if people that you are wanting to, um, you know, impress with your business or get to acknowledge you or work with whatever the case is, as if they are watching because they are, they are. So I'm hearing, don't think you can slack because nobody's looking because everybody's looking. All right, Scorpio, so that's all I have for you for today. I wish you all the best. If you would like to win a free reading, the information for how to participate is in the description box below. And if you would like to purchase a reading, the link is also down there. All right, I love you guys, and I wish you all the best. Take care.